Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeff. Today is a lovely spring day here in Vancouver uh, with a lovely morning temperature of uh, just about one degree. So I figured, although it's spring, it's a Thorium AR kind of day. So today we'll be talking about the Thorium AR hoodie from Arcturus. The Thorium AR is a down puffy that comes in both jacket and hoodie configuration. It uses 750 fill power European goose down and it has 130 grams of fill for a size medium. The Thorium AR is an all-rounded down puffy jacket that could be packed for travel, backpacking or backcountry uses. In my opinion, the Thorium AR is a generalist all-rounded down puffy jacket for you to have. The face fabric of the Thorium AR uses the Arado 30, which is one of the more durable face fabrics in the Arado lineup, which is also used in the Cerium series. It uses a 750 fill power European goose down, which is mostly concentrated in the core, as the Thorium AR has Arcturix's proprietary down mapping system, which uses synthetic insulation in high wear areas, such as shoulders, you know, armpits, and around the cuffs, sometimes the arms just to avoid moisture as down does not function well when wet. These high wear areas uses the synthetic insulation which comprises of the Korolov 80 and Korolov 140. The Thorium AR has two hand warmer pockets right here which are not fleece lined, just regular, regularly lined. It has one interior pocket right here which also comes with its own compression or stuff sack which packs into about this side as you can now see on this video. It has a very high coverage hood, as you can see here. It covers, goes pretty much just to below the nose, which gives you a nice good coverage and seal when you need it in the colder months. It has one hood adjuster on the back for the crown, which as you can see now, just picks this up, lifts this down, compacts, compacts this area, so again, your goggles go here and you'd be perfectly sealed from the element. It has two hemlock adjusters, one on each side, which help you create a perfectly balanced seal to seal out the wind from picking up underneath. It has one embroider logo here instead of the regular bird and wording, Arcturix wording here. What are some pros and cons of this jacket? One of the main pros of this piece is functionality. As it is an AR designated piece, it has an all-rounded utility when it comes to functionality. You can use it walking around town, you know, walking your dog, you can use it in the backcountry, you can use it on your hikes. There are many possibilities for this piece. As it uses 750 fill power and mostly concentrated on the core at 130 grams, and it's the piece's weight is only just under 500 grams, so a, almost a quarter of the weight goes into the insulation. As you can see, it's quite puffy which keeps you plenty warm. The Arado 30 face fabric is very durable compared to the Cerium series, such as the Cerium LT or a Cerium SV, which makes this a more of a generalist hoodie for a broad range of applications. As you saw earlier, it has a very high coverage zip, which gives you great coverage and great protection for the really cold days. And it helps you create a nice seal to keep the elements from getting into your jacket. Another pro is its packability. Although it's no Cerium LT or a Cerium SL, it packs down to a good size. It'll take up some room in your pack, so you have to keep that in mind. What are some cons of this jacket? Well, I think one con is uh, because of the high coverage of the chin and the zip. Uh, the hood doesn't sit very well at the back of your neck, as you can see. It'll just stick to the back of your head to remind you that it's always there. I've tried many different configurations, rolling in, rolling out, and uh, nothing seems to work really well to keep it away from your head, if you will, as normally hood sits more like this on the back of your head, but because of the high coverage, it'll always remind you that it's there. It's not as annoying as some of the Gore-Tex pieces where it just cuts where the brim just cuts into the back of your head like this. Since it is a down puppy, it's quite soft. 
Another con in my opinion, which is probably, which might be a personal opinion here, is that it uses, it, it has its proprietary down mapping system, which uses synthetics in, er, in various areas of the piece of the jacket. Personally, I would have preferred an all down piece, but it hasn't been too bad for me, to be honest. In my personal experience, I find that coral loft insulation packs down quite fast if you use your pieces very regularly and there's no way to re-loft them like down so yeah personally an all down piece would have been highly preferable the thorium ar is definitely a piece for the person who only always has one down puppy in their arsenal since it covers a wide range of varieties as mentioned earlier you could wear it in the city because if it's a route of 30 it's more durable it's not prone to snagging ripping you can wear it in the backcountry because it packs down to, you know, a substantial size. It's no cerium, but if you want to have one piece, you have to make some compromises. Its minimalist logo and design uh, allows you to wear it in town, you know, to work if you needed to. It still looks somewhat professional as it's very subdued. Just the one logo here. Personally, this used to be my urban down hoodie. But these days, my use cases for this piece is uh, for static use, for static warmth, uh, for winter camping or fall camping. And since it is a regular fit piece, you could fit another light, you could fit another lighter weight insulation down underneath if you really wanted to. I've tried it with the Adam LT before and it works fine. I hope this video was helpful for you to decide if the Thorium AR is the right piece for you. Let me know in the comments down below how you use yours, if you've got one. As always, I'll see you in the next video.